Is it worth buying digital turbine stock? What are the main risks and forecasts? Digital turbine is the leading independent mobile growth and monetization platform. Previously, the company was called the Mandalay Digital Group. The company supercharges advertising and monetization by integrating a full ad stack with proprietary technology built into devices by wireless operators and OEMs, original equipment manufacturers. The company provides programmatic advertising and target media delivery services. In April 2021, the company completed the acquisition of Ad Colony, mobile video advertising company. In May, the company completed the acquisition of Fiber, another monetization platform for mobile publishers. Now they both take about 60% of the company's revenue, and all these parts of the company show significant revenue growth. The company reports very strong results. The revenue is growing as well as cash flows. There is one important thing that must be taken into account here. During the pandemic, people significantly increased their screen time. So mobile advertising companies have definitely benefited from it. And it's not surprising to see such strong results. Recently, the company made a multi-year deal with Google. Under the agreement, Digital Turbine says it will be able to use Google's enterprise and cloud solutions to build products for Android devices and expand its footprint in the Android mobile ecosystem. The company's CEO said the partnership will allow the company to efficiently power up discovery for nearly 1 billion Android devices globally. According to the executive vice president of corporate development and global strategy, this deal is a key step for the company. It will benefit both sides of the company's business. Recently, Digital Turbine expanded its existing partnership with Telefonica, one of the biggest global telecommunications services providers. The company is focused on expanding its global reach, entering new markets and increasing customer base. According to the forecasts, the company's revenue will keep growing in double digits, as well as net income. The current market capitalization is about $4 billion. Forward price earnings ratio 18.6, price to book 7.9, price to sales 5.9. I'd say that the company's valuation is just fine right now. Not cheap, but not expensive either. The company has a debt, but it's not critical. The company publishes the main risks in its reports. They are general risks for tech companies. Decreased market demand for the company's products and services. Changes in economic conditions in market demand. Security risks and cyber attacks. Competition regulatory risks and uncertainties associated with the integration of the acquisition of Ad Colony and Fiber, the challenges to expand the combined company's global reach, and other risks. My conclusion is very simple. I think the company is interesting as a long-term investment. Thank you for listening.